ancestral and unceded land of 19 sovereign Pueblo nations, as well as three Apache tribes and the Navajo Nation. We are indebted to the original caretakers of this land and to the land itself. We are dedicated to engagement with complex issues of history, identity, heritage, and culture. This kind of engagement is at the heart of cultural understanding and promotes a legacy that is dedicated to justice and reconciliation. We'd like to thank the city of Albuquerque, New Sender Credit Union, and Artful Life for their generous support for the festival. So during the presentation, we will mute participants and close the chat until Q&A time. Um, so now I'd like to introduce Rene Colato Lainez, who is your presenter for this session. Um, so Rene Colato Lainez is an educator and author of several bilingual multicultural award-winning children's books. His books reflect the Hispanic immigrant experience from a child's point of view, covering topics such as cultural identity issues, the difficulties of learning a second language, and missing a loved one. Most of his books are based on his own experiences. He has a master's degree from Vermont College of Fine Arts in writing for children and young adults. Rene's goal as a writer is to produce good multicultural children's literature. Stories where minority children are portrayed in a positive way, where they can see themselves as heroes, and where they can dream and have hopes for the future. He wants to write authentic stories of Latin American children living in the United States. Um, so it's my honor and pleasure to welcome Rene Colato Lainez. Hello, hi everybody. Bienvenidos, good morning, buenos días. I am at Rene Colato Lainez, and I am the author of many children's books. Let me show you some of my books. This is Telegramas al Cielo, Telegrams to Heaven, Mama the Alien, Mama la Extraterrestre. I am Rene the Boy, so Rene el Niño. Rene has two last names. Rene tiene dos apellidos. Let's play football and football. Juguemos al fútbol y al fútbol. Waiting for papá. Esperando a papá. Vámonos. Let's go. The Tooth Fairy meets El Ratón Pérez. Señor Pancho Jara, Rancho Cha 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 Cha. Playing Lotería, el juego de la lotería. But today I am here to talk about my shoes the nine, mis zapatos y yo. Okay, I will share my screen so you can see my journey because this book comes from my very personal life. This happened to Mr. Colato. Okay, so here we go. Let me share my screen so we can you can learn a little more about me. Okay, and let's let's make this. How can I make this bigger? Slideshow. Okay, from the start. Yes, my shoes and I, mis zapatos y yo. Okay, mis zapatos y yo. Okay, uh, this is uh, crossing three borders, cruzando tres fronteras. And this is my family, look. This is my mama. And this is my brother Beto. And this is my brother Carlos. And this is me. I am the little one of the three. And this picture is in El Salvador. I was probably eight years old. And these are these are my books. And you can see my picture since I was a baby. And then here I was about seven years old when I entered first grade. Here I am 14 years old. Uh, and the next one I am almost ready when I became a teacher. And the last one is, can be a current picture. And Mr. Colato, he's from El Salvador. And most of my books talks about the immigrant experience, about children crossing borders. Mis historias cuentan 
de niños cruzando fronteras o que viven en los Estados Unidos. So for my, myself, I have been through all the steps of the immigrant, of the immigration experience. First, when I came to the United States, I didn't have any, I didn't have papers. So I came to the United States as an undocumented child. Like many of you, if you're watching the news, like those children, that was me a few years ago. But later on, I have the opportunity to have a work permit later on. And I was so happy because I was able to work in the United States. And then I worked really hard and I got my resident alien card. And then I became a USA citizen. So I, 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 I can tell you that I know the immigrant experience from every single point of view because that had happened to me. Okay, let's go to the next page. But I was born in El Salvador. El Salvador is a very tiny country in Central America. My country is so small that you need a magnifying glass to look at it. Otherwise, it's too little. Does my country a little bigger? Yes, El Salvador. Our, country, our neighbor's countries are Guatemala, Honduras. And if you want to go to Nicaragua, you need to take a, a boat from Puerto, Puerto Cuyuco, Cutuco, all the way to Nicaragua. If you want to go on land, you need to walk all over Honduras, all the way to El Salvador. And I was born in San Salvador. Do you see the little star in the middle? That's the capital, la capital, la capirucha, dicen allá. So de ahí soy yo de San Salvador. Mi papi is from San Miguel, right here. And my mommy is from Cojutepeque, Cuscatlán, which is right here. And you know that Cuscatlán was the name of our country when uh, in, in the Nahuatl language before the Spaniards arrived to, to Central America, my country was name was Cuscatlan. But then the Spanish changed, uh, changed the name into San Salvador. But Cuscatlan is one of our departments. We don't have a state like here, the United States that you had. We had states in El Salvador, we have departamentos. So one of the departamentos is Cuscatlan and my mom was born right there in Cojutepeque. When I was a little boy, I loved to read stories. I was, I, I was always reading. I said, Papa, yo quiero leer, que puedo leer? So these comic books, uh, I, I found them in El Salvador, in las little esquinistas, que eran unos kioscos de revistas. So just, just little tiny sto uh, a store where you could get magazines and, and graphic novels like this and newspaper and even cookies and little snacks. So those were the kioscos in El Salvador. So I love to go there to get my revistas like this, El Chavo del Ocho, Topollillo, Mafalda, El Chapulín Colorado, Chamfle. And also I enjoy reading my fairy tales like Pinocho, El Gato con Botas, Los Tres Cerditos y el Lobo, y Juan y los Frijoles Mágicos. And as you may see, my books were in Spanish because I was in El Salvador. Y en El Salvador hablamos español. So a mí me encantaba leer en mi idioma nativo. Me encantaba leer. Y déjame decirte, my favorite book was this, Las Telarañas de Carlota. I found this book uh, in the public library. And I look at the picture and I saw the, the pig and the other farm animal. And I say to myself, oh, this must be a good story. Uh, porque hay un puerquito and I love little pigs eh, 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 and, and going to the farm. So I start reading that book and I felt really scared. Oh, what will happen to that little pig? I ask and I continue reading this story. So let me tell you that Las Telarañas de Carlota became my favorite book. And I read this book 
one time, two times, three times, I don't know how many times. And when I came to the United States years later, I also went to the public library and I, I had a big surprise when I was walking through the aisle and I saw that book. And I said, wait a minute, that book is very similar. It is my favorite book. And I noticed the title, oh, it's in English. <laughs> it's in English. My, my favorite book is in English. I didn't know that I was reading a translation of Charlotte Webb all this time. But you know what, boys and girls? The beautiful of language, I can tell you through this book. I didn't know English at all at that time. Maybe I knew, I knew a little English, but you know what? This story was in my heart because I love it so much. And I can tell you that I, I was able to read it in English, looking at the picture, looking at the words Fern and Wilbur, because those were the same words in Spanish. So when I finished reading this book, I said, I read my first book in English. And this was just the beginning. And this is me in El Salvador, when I was, when I entered my elementary school. This is the name of my school, Republica de Chile, numero dos. When I heard that, I told my dad and my mom, I don't want to go, go to that school because it might have chiles everywhere. And my, I'm gonna guess my mouth is gonna be really spicy. But then my papa and mama told me, no, Rene, Chile, that school is, the name of that school is Republica de Chile because it, for the country in South America, Chile is un país en, en Sudamérica. And I said, wow, Chile is a country too. And in that school, I learned everything about Chile. I knew even cantar el himno nacional de Chile, en la historia de Chile. So I was learning the Salvadorian and Central, Central American history and also the history from Chile. So when I was there in my, uh, in my elementary school, I have dreams, tenía mis sueños. I wanted to be a good student because my main goal was to become a teacher. That's what I always wanted to be. And maybe to write a book. And this year is in my mind. I will never forget that this year because in 1985, I was only 14 years old and I have to start my journey. For that Christmas of 1984, my mother sent me a present from the United States, new shoes. And I look at those zapatos and think, oh, these zapatos are tan bonitos. I love them. And my papa told me, Rene, these are good shoes. These are gringo shoes, son zapatos gringos. These shoes must be really good. With these shoes, we have to go to the United States. We have to cross three borders. And I was really excited to see Mama after so many years, but I was really scared too to say goodbye to El Salvador. And that is me trying on my new shoes. And then they, uh, we started the journey coming from El Salvador to the United States. And my papa and myself, we walk and walk through Guatemala and then Mexico and all the way to Los Angeles. We took buses too, but it was a pattern taking buses and walking, taking buses and walking. And that is me and Papa saying goodbye to El Salvador with my brand new shoes. And we took so many buses from San Salvador all the way to, to Guatemala until I saw that. Bienvenidos a la República de Guatemala. Then I felt that I was leaving my country. I remember turning around and saying, adios El Salvador, ya no te voy a ver. Estaba triste de dejar mi país, pero estaba contento de venir con mi mamá. And then more buses from the border, for la frontera del Salvador a Guatemala, 
from that border to Guatemala City. Here is mi papá y yo in Guatemala City. And then more buses. And that was my life, taking buses and, and taking more buses, then more buses and eating sandwiches and walking. And then I saw the other border, Guatemala y Mexico. And I saw this frontera, la frontera de Mexico y Guatemala. And my papa always told me, Rene, we're, we're close to your mother now. Estamos más cerca de tu mamá. And then more buses. Ah, Chihuahua, I said more buses. Uh, uh, we have to keep walking. And in Mexico City, my father lost his wallet. We didn't have any more money. And my father found a place for us to sleep. And it was an old trailer. It was really dark. It has holes in the ceiling. It was a really scary and cold place. But my father told me this is the only place where we can live. And we lived there for two months, for those meses. And after that, I remember one night it was really raining and that poor trailer was flooded everywhere with water and we have to run away. And my shoes were really wet. And I say, oh, Dios mío, where will I be with my mom? And after we received more money from my mom, we took more buses and more buses and the really a journey began walking. Because to a point, my father said, we cannot take any more buses anymore. We have to walk. Tenemos que caminar. Y yo caminé y caminé con mis zapatos. And my father told me, we are almost there. Your mommy lives in the other side of those mountains. And then I realized that my shoes were old. They have holes every, everywhere. They didn't, they did not smell nice anymore. And I felt really sad for my shoes. But my father told me, Rene, we are almost there. We almost made it. And then I saw the final border and I saw those signs and I couldn't understand why those, uh, those people were running and the freeway right there. Remember, I was only 14 years old. But finally, I was able to join my mom. And I was so happy because after so, so, so many years, I was with my mom again. And this is the story. This, this really happened to me that I was able to write a book about it. See, do you want me to read, to read the book now? Yeah, I can read the book in English and in Espanol. I will stop sharing. And there, here we are. Let me see. Are there? I see Sander. Hello. I see some of my students here. Hola, Sander. I see Aaron there too. Hi. And they have their camera on. I see others' names. Thank you. Okay, now I'm going to read my story My Shoes and I. Okay, here we go. My shoes and I, mis zapatos y yo, crossing three borders, cruzando tres fronteras. Written by me, escrito por mí, René Colato Laines, illustrated by Fabricio Vandenbroek. Mis zapatos y yo, my shoes and I, and when an author, when a writer finish a book, they ask to dedicate the book to somebody, somebody very important for the author to dedicate that book. So this book, My Shoes and I, I wrote to the students at Fernandez Elementary School. That's my school where I work. And to all the immigrant children around the world because I know that there are many children crossing many borders, not only the USA-Mexican border, but other borders too. Y en español puse, uh, para los estudiantes de la Escuela Fernández, 
y para todos los niños inmigrantes alrededor del mundo que también cruzan fronteras. Vamos a empezar a leer. Charan, for Christmas, mamá sent me a new pair of shoes from the United States. I love my shoes. They walk everywhere I walk. They run every time I run. They jump every time I jump. My papa told me, Rene, these are good, 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 good shoes for the trip. It is a very long trip to where mama lives. We need to cross three border, but no matter how, how far and how long that way is, my shoes will take me there. Para la Navidad, mi mamá me mandó unos zapatos de los Estados Unidos. Me encantan mis zapatos. Ellos caminan donde yo camino, corro donde yo corro, saltan donde yo saltan. Y papá me dijo, René, estos son muy buenos zapatos. Tenemos que ir donde tu mamá, tenemos que cruzar tres fronteras. El viaje para donde vive mamá es muy largo. Tenemos que cruzar varios países, pero no importa cuán largo y cuán lejos quede, mis zapatos me llevarán hasta allá. Uno, dos y tres. My shoes and I are ready to go. I said goodbye to my friends in my house in El Salvador. Papá opens the door. Oh, it is a win. The wind pushes me back. Oy. My shoes become pushing shoes and we push and push and push and push against the wind. We were like a pack of elephants. Uno, dos y tres. Mis zapatos y yo estamos listos para salir. Me despido de mis amigos y de mi casa en El Salvador. Papá abre la puerta. ¡Ay! Hace mucho viento. El viento me empuja. ¡Ay! Mis zapatos y yo luchamos contra él. Empujamos y empujamos y empujamos como una manada de elefante. Finally, we are out of the wind. I look at my shoes. They Where is, where is your shine? I see filthy, yucky dirt all over my shoes. I need what to do. I brush my tooth. And I say, sana, sana, colita de rana, everything will be okay. Perfect. My shoes look like new. Finalmente salimos. Miro mis zapatos. ¿Dónde está su brillo? Uh, están sucios, llenos de tierra. Uh, los limpio. Y les digo, sana, sana, colita de rana. Todo estará muy bien. Perfecto. Ahora mis zapatos están bien. Uno, dos y tres. My shoes and I are ready to keep going. The bus ride to Guatemala City was really long. We stopped in a plaza to eat our lunch because we were hungry. I got my food, but I forgot my juice. When I came back, I saw dogs eating my food. And I said, go away, dogs. And I took my, my food from the dog and they went, and they ran after me. I ran and the dogs follow me. My shoes and I became racing shoes. And we ran, I ran, ran across the plaza until the dogs got, get tired and leave. Then my father shared his carne asada with me. Uno, dos y tres. El viaje a la ciudad de Guatemala fue bien largo. Paramos en una plaza para comer. Se me olvidó mi jugo. Cuando regresé, unos perros estaban comiendo mi comida. No se coma mi comida, le dije. Y se las quité. Corrí. Los perros me siguieron. Corrimos alrededor de la plaza. Y cuando los perros se cansaron, fui donde mi papá y él compartió su jugo conmigo. I sit down next to papá. I felt something in my shoe. Ew, it was a nail. A very long nail was in my shoe. 
I took it off and saw a little hole. Sana, sana, colita de rana, everything will be okay. Me senté junto a mi papá. Él compartió su comida conmigo y sentí que había algo en mi zapato. Miré, era un clavo. Lo saqué y había un agujerito. Y le dije, sana, sana, colita de rana, todo va a estar muy bien. And then, let me see, we continue our journey. It is hard to sleep on the bus. Papa's shoulder was my new pillow. I made the rooster, the kikiriki of the rooster. We took many, many more buses. And in Guatemala City, and in Mexico City, my father lost his wallet. Where are we gonna live? I said. Finally, my father found a trailer. We slept there. One night, there was a big storm. Crush, bam, crush, bam. I saw water rain coming out of those holes. And there was water everywhere. My shoes and I became sharks. And we swam and swam until we were out of the trailer. Era muy difícil dormir en el autobús. El hombro de mi papá era mi nueva almohada. En la Ciudad de México, mi papá perdió su dinero. ¿Dónde vamos a vivir? Encontramos un trailer. Esa fue mi nueva casa. Una noche había una tormenta. Cayó agua y salimos corriendo como, como unos tiburones nadadores de, de, del trailer hasta que estuvimos secos. The next morning, my shoes were all wet. There was water running, spilling out. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. The water was gone, and I knew that my, soon my shoes will be dry. In la mañana, cuando salimos de después de la tormenta, mis zapatos estaban llenos de agua, caían cascadas de agua al suelo. Después que se secaron, ya estaba, yo sabía que mis zapatos estarían secos pronto, ya después del agua. Finally, uno, dos y tres. We were ready to keep going. More buses, one bus, another bus, another bus. Finally, my father said, we are near the border. Estamos cerca de la frontera. I was so happy. Yes, I say I want to see my mama. And I jump up and down. Uh, uh, oh, I didn't know I was in the middle of a paddle, a mad paddle, un lodo de, de un lodo. Uh, wow, yuck, say there is mud everywhere. Hay lodo por todos lados. Uno, dos y tres. Mis zapatos y yo estábamos listos para seguir. Más autobuses, un autobús, otro autobús, otro autobús. Finalmente mi papá dijo, ya estamos cerca de la frontera, René. Bravo, estoy tan feliz. Y comencé a saltar y saltar. ¡Ah! Caí en un lodo pegajoso y oscuro. ¡Ah! Dice, but you know what, my shoes say, we have to get out of here. There was mud everywhere to the right, to the left, around me. My, my shoes were like two volcanoes overflowing with mud everywhere. I take one shoes, then another one, and I clean them. And I always say to them, sana, sana, colita de rana, everything will be okay. I smile at my shoes and we were ready to keep walking. Había lodo por todos lados, a la derecha, a la izquierda. Mis zapatos parecían dos volcanes tirando lodos por todos lados. Me los quito y los sacudo. El lodo cae y estamos listos para seguir caminando. Uno, dos, tres, my shoes and I were ready to keep going. We must go over those mountains and then cross a river, Papa said. Your mama lived in the other side of those mountains. We ran and ran and ran. We stop. We fall down. We get up. We walk. We rest. We run again. We hide and run and run up, up, up the mountain. My shoes and I were very tired. Uno, dos y tres, mis zapatos y yo tenemos que continuar. Tenemos que atravesar esas montañas y un río. Mamá vive en el otro lado de esas montañas, me dijo papá. 
y empezamos, caminamos, caminamos, descansamos, corrimos, volvimos a caminar, nos caímos, nos paramos, nos levantamos, descansamos, corríamos otra vez, escalando, escalando, más y más y más alto de la montaña. Mis zapatos y yo estábamos muy cansados. Something inside my shoes were hurting my feet. I lift one foot at a time. I saw holes around my shoes. There were pebbles in, in between my toes. I cry and say, oh no, my shoes are not good anymore. Papa cheers me up, Rene, my strong boy. We want to be with mama. We won't give up. We are almost there. Hay algo dentro de mis zapatos que me lastima mis pies. Levanto un pie a la vez. Agujeros. Hay agujeros en la suela de mis zapatos. Encuentro piedritas en mis dedos. Y hay lágrimas en mis ojos. Papá me anima, René, mi niño fuerte. Queremos estar con tu mamá. No nos daremos por vencidos. Uno, dos y tres. My shoes and I are ready to keep going. We can do it. Yes, we can. The river, the running water river, the running river, splish, splash. My shoes and I have to cross it. I become a horse. My shoes will ride on my shoulder. Don't worry, shoes. We will cross the finish line, I said. Uno, dos y tres. Mis zapatos y yo estamos listos para seguir el río, un río fluyente. Chof, 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 chof. Mis zapatos y yo tenemos que cruzarlo. Me convierto en un caballo y mis zapatos montarán en mi hombro. No se preocupen, zapatos. Llegaremos a la meta, les digo. The water comes up to my stomach. I keep walking. The water comes up to my shoulder. I keep walking. Soon I lose my balance. Ah, shoes, don't leave me. Don't go away, I said. I was able to wrap one of my shoes. When we cross the river, we look around. And luckily, I found my other shoe that was trapped in some branches. El agua me llega al estómago. Seguimos caminando. El agua me lleva al hombro. Pierdo el balance. Ay, ¿dónde están mis zapatos? Veo un cordón de un zapato y lo puedo agarrar. El otro zapato se va. Cuando salimos del río, papá y yo buscamos alrededor, atrapados en una rama, está mi otro zapato. Finally, after the big journey, Mama is waiting for us. We hug, we kiss, we cry with joy. My shoes are with me. They still walk everywhere I walk. We cross the finish line together. Mama nos estaba esperando. Nos abrazamos, nos besamos, lloramos de alegría. Mis zapatos están conmigo. Siguen caminando donde sea que yo camine. Juntos cruzamos la meta. And that's my story. And at the end of the book, you can find an author note in English and in Espanol. And I explain more about my journey. Yes, and this is my shoes and I, my zapatos y yo. Muchísimas gracias. Thank you so much for that beautiful story and that yeah, beautiful Renata. storytelling. Yeah. Yes, is there any questions? Unas preguntas. A tu mano. I'm going to bring something, okay? 